going on guys? Today we're going to replace the mirrors on the Tenere with a set of double take mirrors. These are their adventure models. They offer many benefits over the stock mirrors. So one of the main advantages of the double take mirrors is the adjustability and the ability to take an impact. With an adventure bike, if you go down or hit a low hanging tree or anything like that, the stock mirrors are very rigid and they can cause damage not only to the mirror itself, but it can damage the master cylinder on your bike, your front master cylinder, and it can also break your clutch perch. So that can leave you stranded on a trail, which is something you obviously don't want. These mirrors will help eliminate that problem. And they also come with a lifetime warranty on the housing. So if you were to break the housing of this mirror, um, they have a lifetime warranty and replacement for that. Uh, these mirrors are composed of the mirror itself, two ram mount arms, one ram mount ball stud, and an adapter for each side to screw into the factory locations. Installation is extremely simple. All it takes is a 17 millimeter wrench to get the old mirrors off, a 16 millimeter wrench or socket to, to install the adapters, and uh, some medium strength Loctite that I'm gonna use to put the adapters to the ball studs. So really simple, let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, this one on the, on the right hand side is going to be a reverse thread. And that's all it takes to remove it. And the one on the left hand side is a standard thread. Just like that. Okay, we also wanna take this opportunity to make a quick weight comparison. Uh, the double take mirrors feel a little bit heavy, but really I don't think it's a whole lot of difference. So let's take a look and turn on the scale. And first I'll weigh the stock mirror. That is 13.4 uh, ounces for the stock one. And the double take mirror, 15.3. So less than two ounces difference. Uh, I think we can live with that between the two of them. We're looking at close to four ounces. Not too bad, really. All right. Okay, so for the clutch side, I'm just gonna put a very small amount of blue medium strength Loctite. Just make sure that you don't forget to put the hand guard back in. And just snug that down with the 16 millimeter. Now on the ram ball itself, we'll put a little more Loctite on it because it doesn't tighten with a wrench. So that ought to do. And that will thread in to the adapter. And you can turn that as tight as you can by hand. And it will, it will tighten up pretty good with that Loctite on there. Okay, and on the right side, it's pretty much the same process. Just remember that the threads are reversed for this adapter. Now we install the ball stud. That one is standard thread. All right, and now I can install the extension arm and the mirror. Tighten it up. And we do the same thing on this side. That's it. You can get on the bike and adjust them how you wish. So as you can see, the adjustments can be really, really quick on this. You know, you're on the trail and you wanna just move the mirror out of the way. You can do that. If you wanna just remove the mirror completely, it's quick and easy to do as well. Um, so a lot of versatility with these mirrors. Um, they are just a tad bit heavier than stock, but I think it's well worth it. So hopefully real soon I can do a review on it as well. Go to doubletakemirror.com 
I'll have a link down in the description below if you want to check out a set for yourself. All right, so that should do it for another one. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, put them down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.